Hey y'all, how y'all doing? I am so sorry I didn't upload yesterday on my normal upload day, but I'm here, you're here, hey. I'm out today with my shoulders out. I got a whole tube top on and some black pants. My daughter's graduation balloons. I didn't um even tell you guys. I um my daughter graduated. We celebrated. She it was like a moving up ceremony. It was more like a um promotion. It was nothing it wasn't drawn out because of COVID. Some schools here in the area are doing graduations in like in their um field. And some are just like not chancing it because, you know, some parents are just like, no, some parents are yes, you know, some people are vaccinated, some people are not vaccinated. So it's what it is, but we did celebrate. We celebrated our own way. You know, we had balloons here. We had ice cream. We had, we went to dinner. We gave money. You know, we did what she wanted to do. So that's what's important. We acknowledged and all that good jazz. So, I went to work yesterday. I went to work yesterday and I caught like a mini anxiety attack. I don't want to say I caught an anxiety attack due to work. I think I caught an anxiety attack just due to me just catching an anxiety attack, just life, you know, things that I go through and whatnot. And it was a bit much. That's, that's another reason why I did not upload yesterday. Another reason why I couldn't even finish recording. I'm going to share a little clip so you can see me in my office yesterday. Hey y'all, uh, so I'm in my office. They done painted a little bit. They done moved my bookcase. This is still from Christmas. Look at my plan. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Look at my office. Oh my God. It is a mess in here. So I'm getting ready to train. It's so quiet in here. But here we go. Let me go train. Yes, I have a really big office. <laughs> Let's go train. So, yeah, I was there for a short um, period. I was there, I was supposed to be there for two hours, but I was there for three. We're having our meeting next week, and I'll take you along for that, on how we're going to um, go back into work. But I already um, said to myself that I'm going to go back into work. I'm taking my computer, all my work stuff, and I'm taking it back to work on Monday. I'm just gonna keep my laptop home. I can't work from, I can't go back to the office full time as of yet, but um, I can take all this stuff back and I can just have my laptop here. Just so I can kind of have some normalcy back at home if that makes any sense because all of this stuff contributes to my anxiety. I'm just gonna be totally honest with you. So um, I'm gonna go to work two days a week for about three to four hours just to kind of separate my day and separate my home and my work life if that makes any sense because a year and a half some people don't even want to go back to work and I understand why and I, and I don't want to go back neither but I do need some separation if that makes any sense I feel like my camera is shaking okay let's see that is better I do feel like I need some separation. So um, I want to take this down, this table. I want to have my living space back to normal. And I have to train. I, well, I went to work yesterday because I had to train someone. And I really couldn't even train her to the fullest capacity because I work with double screens. She will work with double screens. Well, really three screens because I use my laptop as well and we didn't have all of that you know the way her system is set up she's only working from I think two screens and two small screens her screen's not as big as mine so they're gonna upgrade her and get her screens as big as mine so I just felt like I only was able to show her just what I could through the laptop and I don't like flipping from screen to screen on a laptop I need to have screens so yeah and they're going to get me a, uh, what do you call that? A travel, a travel monitor. So when we go out into the, we're going to go back into the field. So I'm going to need two screens to go out in the field as well. So we, you know, we got, we have a lot to do. We got to get back to normalcy, you know, be cautious as well. But, um, yeah, 
Your girl um went into the office and caught a damn anxiety attack. And I caught other other issues came up too. With okay, I had to go pick up my stuff from the cleaners. I had some pants that were extremely long, and I want to show it to you guys in a haul. So. I was like, it's no need for me to go ahead and show you guys and you see how long they are. I just need to go ahead and get them fixed. So I got them fixed and I left the tags on the pants so I can um, let, you, let you know the name of the jeans because you know what Fashion Nova is nothing but names. And yeah, <laughs> and once, you, once you take off the tag, you don't know what the hell you got on. I mean, that's what any jeans pretty much. You don't know, you know, what you have on. I hate the fact that the lighting is going in and out. It is pissing me all the way off. And I'm getting upset. So, let me kind of go back to what I was talking about when I was in the house. About how I, um... I caught an anxiety attack yesterday. And it lasted a long time time and it was it was it was it was hard for me it was hard for me to finish continue with my day I had to just pretty much come in and I'm I don't like to get in the bed without taking a shower like that's something that I don't like to do because I don't want to have the outside in my bed I was so turned around yesterday and my anxiety had got the best of me yesterday that I had went and laid down, took my clothes off without taking a shower. And for those of you who are like OCD in that capacity, you know what I'm talking about. So, I eventually did get up and I took a shower. But I had to change my sheets. I would, because my mom was just bugging out. So I had to do that. And it was just, I had a really bad episode yesterday a really bad episode yesterday and i've been doing really good i've been you know doing things that i know that keeps me at bay and whatnot but yesterday it just got the best of me and i don't know if it was because you know i try to limit my caffeine i don't try to drink caffeine too much but i do know caffeine definitely um uh kind of like helps with the not helps but you know it kind of like you know initiates or it can kind of kickstart my anxiety with the caffeine so i limit my my caffeine i some people say some people may tell me okay wait till i drink decaf i don't like how decaf tastes so i know when i have had too much caffeine because my anxiety kind of get the best of me but besides the caffeine my anxiety was already roaring before I even had a coffee I couldn't even finish the coffee I had drank about this much of a venti I had like a, a, a cold brew and you guys know I drink coffee if it's I make it at home or if I um buy it but I couldn't even get through it because I was done I couldn't even finish training the young lady I mean I did stay at the office for three hours but our training session kind of got cut short one due to me not having a enough screens to kind of spread out and show her and give her a really big picture but I just wasn't in a good space so that was that with the anxiety I was just in a big pickle yesterday so today I'm just gonna pretty much chill and get myself back to bay I got my hair cut and I'm, I'm gonna work tonight so that'll make make up my offset my time but I, I couldn't I couldn't work I could not work and I had to let my boss know so it was it, it was bad for me my anxiety had got the best of me and plus I, um, I picked up my cleaners I got that I got my haircut if my haircut is in a few so I was like you know what no need for me to go back home or anything I'm gonna go stay out 
I gotta go pick up my barber a birthday gift. So I'm gonna do that as well. And I wanna go find a full length mirror. I really wanna find a full length mirror. I can easily order one and all that good jazz, but you know, I'm gonna see what, I don't think TJ Maxx has, but I think I have to go to Home Goods, something like that and find a full of mirror. Maybe I'll do that over the weekend, but I am gonna go and take a peek in TJ Maxx, just to kind of see what the vibe is and what's going on or whatever. But yeah, they are building like crazy. What the hell are they putting over here? I'm glad I don't live on this side of town. I would be pissed. I used to live on this side of town. So a lot of things that I do, I still come over here because I like my, I like the cleaners. I like certain things that I was accustomed to and I just don't want to change. And they know me. But they are just building, building, and building. A lot going on. So I drove by this place where I was thinking about getting the, a town home from here. So they finally have it open so I can show you guys. So we having a little pit stop right here. So let me show you guys this townhome. So you walk in the door right here. That's me. They have a mirror right here. You come in. The steps are here. This is a nice airy. It kind of gives me boho feels. Real nice and light and airy. Living space. Just a sofa, some chairs. I love this look. This is something that I love. This is good for my anxiety. You got that? I talk about my anxiety all the time. This is perfect. Not too big, not too small. Only thing I, I mean, it's electric stove, which is okay. I think this is the washer and dryer. Oh no, this is the pantry. Ooh. This is the guest bathroom down here. Hey guys. <laughs> this is Poppy little mud room. Little mud room, that's the garage I'm sure. This is another little closet. Let's go upstairs. Now, I like this unit because the only thing they don't have is a loft. So, let's go to the right first. This is the bathroom. I do like this vanity situation here. Nice sink, tub. Tub, <laughs> toilet, and linen. Okay. Then you have the two bedrooms. I love how they decorate this place. It's so nice and light, airy. This makes you feel nice and just warm and cold. This is the bigger room of the two. I like that one. Okay, so let's go around. Oh, here's the washer. This little washroom, you put your little iron board or your steamer, because you know your girl ain't got no iron. Another mirror, they decorated so nice. A door would go here and a door would go here and nice big closet for one 
I think you could put like a little island in the middle here to kind of put like jewelry and things like that. This is the owner suite, master, however you choose to say. I prefer owner because you know where the word master came from. Okay, I love these two. I call those like skylights or whatever. Like, I don't know what they call it, but I like those windows up there. Nicely done. This is the bathroom, a shower, and I, you know, you, you still have a, um, a tub in here. The water room, toilet, linen closet, and your girl. <laughs> I love it, I love it. So let's see. So, I just opened the door and I came in. Let's see if the other model is open. This one is nice. I like this one too. But the other home that I showed you guys, the other, um, let's get some good lighting. There we go. Oh, nope. The other town home that I showed you guys, I like that one better. This doesn't have a loft. They do have one that has a loft in the, in the town home but um yeah <laughs> we snuck and saw an i keep saying apartment we snuck and saw a townhouse today how are we gonna get that in <laughs> y'all i'm in <laughs> okay so let's look this is this is the um front door Y'all, I got in. Somebody was here and he was like, there's no sale agent here. I know. They got the workers here. They're working and cleaning and stuff like that. And the builders. So, um, let me show you. Let me show you. This is another town home. This is a nice community here. It's really, really small. It's, it's right near a, um, a senior center. So, it's really quiet over here. I love quiet. Um, it's in the cut. Who cares? Let me just show you. Okay, so you come through and the steps are here and hey y'all. Now, I do like this. I'm not going to lie to you. I do like this. I love these chairs. So nice and simple. Kind of low, kind of low. But I do like the chairs. This is more of an open concept. This reminds me not of my house per se, but just that my house is very open. So it definitely reminds me of that. So I love the stools. I love the wide island. I just wish that the sink was in the island because that's what I'm going for. I want my sink to be in the island. And it might not, you know, may not be a stickler for me. I might can, you know, work around that, but that's something that I'm, I'm definitely looking for. But I do like this layout. And these are super affordable. They're going to do a phase two of these. The phase one is um, already sold. So if I want to get in, I got to get in where I fit in. And I do like how they have the um, the little porch situation here, like your, your backspace. They're going to divide it so you won't really be with your neighbor. So that would be really, really nice. Don't know what the other community is doing. Nice pantry, not too big, not too small. Just enough, some extra pillows. Look at this, y'all. Look at this. This is so nice. Me personally, I would have wanted a white couch or an ivory couch. I do understand the gray couch, but um, I would keep the cognacs, um chairs, pillows, everything right up my alley. But I would definitely go for a lighter rug and a white couch. I love the accent table over there. I'm acting like I'm a damn home decorator. I ain't eat any of that. You go to downstairs bathroom, little mud room, and that is the garage where they were. So let's go up, let's go up. I love those baskets. Oh my God. Oh, that is so nice. Okay, let's go up. Now this one, uh, now these steps remind me of my damn steps in my house. Straight up. Whew. Okay. This is one room. Okay. 
really really nice and you know also that i've learned when say this is a model home right when it's time to sell or where they kind of like discount these just the washroom smaller can't put much in maybe a hamper or something over there uh oh i don't want a ledge see this ledge here in my house now i have this and what happens is they leave cups whatever they don't want to take down don't want a ledge. I will pay extra for real. <laughs> okay, this is nice bathroom. I love the quartz countertops. Bathroom. Y'all, we done got us a damn tour. Okay, here's another room. This room is a mighty small. This is like an office. I mean, ain't nothing going on in here. You can put a, a, a full-size bed in here, but... That's about it. Closet. This is the owner suite. This is smaller. This is smaller layout. But this is definitely nice. Look at this. This is the chair I want. This is the chair that I want. I want two of these. See how I got y'all looking at it? Okay. I would put a mirror right here. And I'm not big on having TVs in my room. So this is like right up my alley. Nice little dresser. This is so up my alley right here, y'all. Now we're going to go into the bathroom. I love the double sinks. Wide closet. Toilet. Nice shower. Nothing too fancy. Like the little um, window up there. Standard shower, nothing fancy. It's not like the um, seamless doors or anything like that. But I'm just curious to see what's in these closets and how big this linen closet is. Because for this to be a, look at this big linen closet. For this to be, okay. For this to be a smaller square footage, <laughs> Die. They have little areas in here that is definitely um bigger. So let's go get a haircut. <laughs> hey y'all, I am back home. Y'all, I um the camera is getting ready to die, so I couldn't record while I was in the barber shop. But she fresh, she got a new haircut. I'm just looking out my window. I'm good, so I don't go back until um day for my birthday i made me an appointment so that's when i go back i'm looking a little bit better my face is still kind of swollen like puffy if i should say i feel like i'm dehydrated so i'm going to sit back and drink some water um i got me some soup i'm going to do that because I don't, I don't feel too hot so i'm going to do that and yeah did you guys like those townhomes let me know let me know Okay, I told you guys that I'm going to end the vlog here. I'm not going to keep rambling on, but I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you on Sunday. Hey to all my new subscribers. Hey to all my audience. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'll catch you in the next video.